Um, President, good morning to my... Did you walk this morning? I didn't I see did, it. I did. You did. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't sound I, so. I, I, mm. you know, I changed my route. I, I actually walked downtown, came up River Road, um, cross block to Thousand, wrong level garden, down oh, through okay. our village and back. So maybe that's why you missed me. It's important to change the route of walking as well. Yeah. So that is not predictable for, for true, good security true. reasons, yes. But good morning, and good I morning. say good morning to Daniel, my MP for West Kingstown, my constituent and my ambassador and resident. Let me join with him, Daniel, and uh, extend heartiest congratulations to Centurion. Um, I don't get them very frequently. I get them <laughs> once in a while. I don't know why why, why people in Central Kingston don't like to make hundreds, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's the water. It's, it's the water. <laughs> it's, it's the water. So let me join with you, and I hope um, Granny continues to have a very enjoyable life. I, I, I would suspect that if, if she follows through <laughs> and go into that marijuana business, then she might well do 200. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so watch it, Daniel. <laughs> you have to stay around it longer. I also want to join with you um, to revisit again the the Red Oak family to whom whose funeral aid we attended. You know, I had the privilege on her 90th birthday to have delivered to her as the, the delivery man um, the arrangement for my wife for the home. So I had gone there and um, as my brother said in his um in his message, his tribute, um, we're there right down the side of the road. Um, Mr. Red Oak votes, you know, every young man mm -hmm. and woman who grew up in the Montrose, and, I'm, and, and I mean the greater Montrose area now because there's just yes. a thin line between old and new and, new and, and all the subdivisions you would talk about, you know. Yeah. And That's the way it was, eh? And, and, and yeah, and, and for us, it, it, it's a period in which um, they provided guidance and direction, and, and more than that, um, they followed your progress. Mm -hmm. They know when you pass, you fail when you went into long pants, <laughs> and you did not step out of line because it was so important mm -hmm. that you represented them in the way that they want to. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to see that the, the entire family, it's a large family, yes. was there, you know. Um, so James was making the point, and this is tangential, so I'm glad that he was there too, that somebody said that um, the, the, the husband made a big contribution to the New Democratic Party as treasurer. Mm -hmm. And so James responded to them, he didn't make a contribution, he was the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that in, tells you how in much in the early days, Sir James right? depended on those contributions and it's upon those shoulders. Mm -hmm. But we who have the privilege to the temporary mm -hmm. as it is to serve mm -hmm. must stand on those examples that we are falling on. And which helps us to be able to persevere in this um, <clears throat> political wilderness, as some people describe it. When I came to the wicket this morning, but remember, we are batting. I just want people to remember that. Um, we are on the offensive. Mm -hmm. The New Democratic Party is not now taking any defensive position. Mm -hmm. We're not coming after the fact. We are occupying the crease. And they are out there bowling, and they're feeling, they're bowling wide, as I said last week, no balls, full toss, bouncers, anything they come with, we're going to play Beam, them. Beamers and all. Beamers and all. Mm -hmm. And I, I must say, when I came to the pavilion this morning, Daniel was already padded up. Mm -hmm. And it meant that I knew I had to just stay at this end of the wicket. And I'm quite comfortable staying down here and running the singles and so on and so forth. So we are going to... Have a great day today on this program. I am a little bit on the other side of um, his presentation this morning, um, in which he um, highlighted quite rightly um, what obtained in the case of the the court ruling, which showed the role that was played by one of Ralph's gatekeepers, Basil William. Because um, I don't know how a person who otherwise has much respect in, in Vincent's society and has played such an important role in culture in so many ways, allowed himself to be so contaminated um, that he had to defy constitutional provisions and public service regulations to institutionalize victimization and nepotism and to ignore the virtues and values of, of fairness and of equity and 
proper appraisal mm-hmm. and seniority and merit and so forth. All these good and decent things which and he would have enshrined and he would have spent all of his life. And, and grew up speaking and writing that about. That is something mm-hmm. that we have to pause on. How it came about. Because, yeah, how it came about because he's not really singular mm-hmm. or alone in that regard. Mm-hmm. You can go about him and find so many people who in the ordinary course of things say, the cool guys, the ordinary guys, somebody you should respect to, yet they allow themselves to become a Sucked part in. of this iniquitous culture that has taken us on the road to nowhere. And I will not look, comment on your program last night, but, but you see again how easy it is for people to become very defensive <laughs> when things are manifestly wrong. <laughs> they would either re- take recourse to the fact I'm, I'm a public servant, I'm a civil servant, or working with government, and therefore it does not allow me when it to suits. call wrong, wrong. <laughs> and they try to find all kinds of Oxford dictionary to redefine <laughs> the words of what is right and put it in some clothes that even you and I can't recognize it. And I make that case point because I want this morning to spend just a minute or two to say how pleased I am to, to be still around and to be in the parliament to congratulate and welcome Israel Bruce yes. as a senator with the New Democratic Party yes. and to serve when the opportunity is given him, and I believe it would happen in government. And I say that, Bert, because Bruce is a professional. He's a lawyer. And he's got here by dint of very, very hard work. Mm-hmm. Like so many persons from rural St. Vincent, or as we like to say, the country, from working class agricultural families, he pulled himself up by the bootstrap. You have heard Bruce speak some of his, his stories already when there are days he went to school hmm. without a breakfast and without a lunch. True. And how he imagined people eating and therefore had imaginary lunches. I, I, hmm. I may be stretching it a little bit. But it didn't deter him to be what he wanted to be and what his parents wanted to be. And today he is a professional and in a very short time has established himself as a good criminal defense lawyer. Mm -hmm. And I've literally leaped ahead of many who have been there before him. Mm -hmm. Working here and doing a lot of work in the other part of St. Vincent and the namely Tortola, the BVI, which I'm told is the extended constituency of Greg's, Lauders, Lomans, etc., etc. If I'm wrong in that regard, um, BVI is, is um, Bruce so advised me to say that. <laughs> and that's why he spends as much time up there with you as he spends in his own <laughs> physical geography of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But I have to repeat myself this morning when I said that I happened to be in the parliament at this time and to welcome him. Because almost 20 years ago, Hmm. when St. Vincent was almost in a similar situation, when the unions Hmm. had made the ridiculous request upon the government of Arnhem Users and Company for a 30% increase, and when they abandoned all principles and I listen, sometimes you have to hang your head in shame, you know, and I'm not normally in the business for calling names, but sometimes if you don't have anything to do, just, just, just take a silence. Because I listen to a past representative and a past union leader, Conrad says, call on radio from time to time and make a fool of himself. And if you don't have anything to say, just, just keep quiet, Conrad. Because it was bad with you before, and it's getting worse with you now mm. when you open your mouth. And oh. I don't want mm. I don't want you to be representative of what the, the title politician, past or present, means. Oh boy. It's shameful. Because he too was a part of those calls on the New Democratic Party administration that led eventually to the shortening of the life of the New Democratic Party. But I make the point that I did not know Israel very well. 
but I was at the time the president of the Employers Federation as Vinlex representative on the Employers Federation and I had been there for eight years. And I repeat for Vincentians to know that eight year period also gave me the privilege to have gone to Geneva along with Alan Cookshank and the late Alice Manneville because you could only go to Geneva as in the groups of three, a government representative, a trade union representative, and a business representative called the tripartite delegation. If you don't have all three, you cannot be received in Geneva. But I went there with Mr. Cookshank leading that delegation for St. Vincent to officially become a member of the International League of Organization. Now, there's a lot of things there, you know, because it didn't happen under the labor regime. Imagine that. <laughs> it was the New Democratic Party who recognized that this is the international governing body for labor matters and labor relations. Mm -hmm. And so the NDP, not a labor government, mm -hmm. not a labor government, the Sir James Mitchell administration, that saw the need for us to recognize the best practice on labor regula regulations and to become members of the International Labor Organization. But fast forward to the, the, the impasse of, of 1999, 2000, 2001, when all hell broke loose, when the streets of Kingston were turned upside down, when the Labor Party broke into people's restaurants, overturned the, the deep freezers, smashed windows, Junk and eat up people's food from the business places. Brought the country virtually to civil war. Stores had to close down. We ended up in Grenada. Mm -hmm. After we had to have problems. People must remember our history with um, the Prime Minister Pandey of Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. for example. They had to cut out. holes in the fence yeah, of the yeah. Anvil to get them out. Yeah. Denzel Douglas then was representing the, the seat of power in, in, in St. Kitts. The birds in Antigua. Kenny Anthony in St. Lucia. And they were all with questionable, except for the birds, supporters of Ralph Gonzalez to some extent. And we ended up in Grenada to make peace. It will appear to me that the only three persons of all the representatives there in Grenada who had an independent view or view other than the Labour Party was Sir James, Israel Bruce, whom I didn't know very well, and myself. Well, quite clearly, I could have held my own, not that I'm a high one. Tremendous amount of pressure because Bruce was there as the representative of the National Youth Council. Yes, and they wanted to get unanimity to say everybody was saying the same things that they were. Well, clearly they couldn't get me as representative of the Employers Federation to say what they were saying. So they gave up on me, fortunately. And Anthony pressured Bruce, Pandy pressured Bruce, um, Douglas pressured Bruce, Ralph had him under all kind of pressure to sell principle. I didn't even know what his political persuasion. But he represented himself principled, firm, mm -hmm. strong on the facts that were before him and did not allow them to have this way. And that's why, because I, I was there for the Grand Beach Accord, it was a little unfortunate when we gave up, you know, because Ralph had virtually failed to convince anyone that things should change. In fact, I remember Verbord saying, you see that kind of behavior you carry on with St. Vincent and you rub his flesh, you see. I can't support it. Because today for St. Vincent tomorrow for we are not going down that road. There's a law and order, there's constitution, there's, and when a government is elected, you don't come here and say, because I get the majority of votes. The constitution determines those who are the most seats have a right to run the country. So you didn't get Antigua's going along with him. And we stayed firm in that position. And I believe as early as that, as early as that, my brother and colleague would have been targeted. Made his mark. Targeted, but he made his mark and I was satisfied in this principle. And I've followed both since then. May it permit me to make an interjection Absolutely. on the senatorial matter. 
because I remember, and I, I want to relate it to, to Senator, former Senator Zita Banwell, and to acknowledge her contribution and to thank her. I remember when Israel wanted to become involved in as a candidate, and he wasn't selected. He was quite disappointed. And I, I remember having a conversation with him. I said, sometimes we do not recognize our blessings. I say, here's an opportunity for you, young man, to go and study, make yourself a professional in your own field, and, and the time will come when you will come back better prepared and more ready to take on the mantra. I will live to see it, and I'm looking forward to him going all the way and becoming member of parliament. I want to say the same thing to former Senator Zita Banwell. Sometimes opportunities hit us in a way that we don't grasp it. Clearly you have uh, the potential and clearly you have a, an extreme interest in some very important matters that relate in particular to this country. And I have not the slightest doubt that your opportunity will come and it will come soon. So I wish you all the very best as you continue in your personal development and your political development. Thank you, Major. I just wanted to make that intervention. Noted, Daniel. Noted. I'm still on Santa Bruce. And I'm aware of that political history when he was not mm -hmm. selected at the time he thought he would. It was a blessing. And he turned, turned it around, mm -hmm. turned the lemon around, and he made lemonade. Correct. But I'm here now to say, that Bruce could have held that grudge against the New Democratic Party. That when he wanted the party, they were not there for him in terms of his selection as a candidate. He could also have taken a position that I'm here now and I have some appreciation in the legal community. He could also take the position that I'm here now where the strongest government in the world is still in office. Hmm. <laughs> Because they're the ones who discovered St. Vincent and Grenadines like Christopher Columbus in 2001. <laughs> and I've looked around and I've seen several of my contemporaries and colleagues doing well on the gravy chain. I'm sure that if I endear myself mm -hmm. to Comrade Ralph and company, I might even get deputy chairmanship of the Public Service Commission. <laughs> or some board appointment, or I might even be next in line for candidates someplace or sometime because I'm still a young man in my 40s. In other words, all those things, you remember the devil carry up and say, mm -hmm. if, you, if you bow down, you could get mm -hmm. all them mm -hmm. things, all them things that belong to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there could be any amount of things that could have been offered to him. But Bruce said, I am going to solve with the New Democratic Party. I'm going to solve with a party that is in opposition. I'm going to solve a party that has withstood many years of victimization. I'm going to solve with a party that is attempting to free St. Vincent Grenadines from other people's plantation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to join a political party that wants to recognize the value of democracy. I'm going to join a party that wants to uphold the constitution of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm joining a political party that is against nepotism. Mm -hmm. I'm going to join a political party that abhors victimization of all kinds. Mm -hmm. I'm joining a political party that favors meritocracy. I'm going to join a party that allows me an opportunity to be an independent-minded person who can think for myself and can make a difference in the community in which I grew up. And he reflected, and he saw that he had a historical track record. He had served with distinction in the Youth Council, National Youth Council of St. and Grenadines. He had been able to travel regionally and internationally and take up office and positions as a regional trade, um, youth, youth representative. He had gone into football, and he has ridden and served the football federation in St. Vincent and Grenadines and traveled internationally, gained great experience. 
and he will let all this experience come to bear on St. Vincent the Grenadines. And if you know Israel, he's a talented individual outside of his professional academic qualifications. He, he fancies himself as a dancer. So he does well with the dance or music. He fancies himself as a DJ. He's a great MC. Commentator. Significant commentator <laughs> of all sports, football, cricket, you name them both, you hear him. He understands the, the rudiments of the sports. He's generous to fault. Sponsors several football teams, netball teams, sporting organizations in his community, outside of his communities. Finds time for political organization. That is to move around and get his groups going. And he, in the New Democratic Party, has in South Central with one of the finest network of political organization. Now, it matters. It matters, and it matters in the Democratic Party in a big way. Because anybody who looks at the political map of St. Vincent and Grenadines, you will see St. Vincent with a shape something like a mango, and you draw a line straight down the center, not bust it down through the seat. Draw a line straight down the center and the top. The left-hand side of the mango People. is yellow from East Kingstown all the way down to Patotown in Richmond. Saving except for some interference in Central Leeward. So South Leeward, vast majority of Central Leeward, because I dismissed the stealing, North Leeward, East and West Central Kingstown. But from the time you go beyond that, the whole of the countryside is red. And that's what we have to change. Uh, I'm confident that the coming into electoral politics of Senator K. Batiste and now Senator Israel Bruce would make a difference. Big. Because I have seen it work. We've been there, done this, done that. And I have the experience of Daniel Cummings and myself. We did between us 10 years each of central position. And, and, and I'll tell you that, see, you should remember this. Once a center, always a center. There are still people who respond, re, re, refer to Daniel as center Cummings. There are people who still refer to me as center leaker. And neither of us are offended because we worked hard for that. And it will always be part of our political legacy. But there was a rich legacy that provided us for people to see us in a more public way than they are accustomed. A lot of people know us, you know. Know us, they know him as a man of, of, at Water Tower, or know me at Vinnick, or know us in our different with his life. But to listen and to hear reason in the Parliament of St. Vincent Grand is a different honor. Now, it's just more than that, but in the same way that I said, if we look at St. Vincent, that half of the country is on the left, and half is on the right, half is yellow, half is red. It is the same way, without knowing who comments is, knowing who, who um, Bruce is, or Bacchus Batiste, half of the country don't like you, and half accept you. But it builds character, because it allows you to know thyself. And when you recognize, with all of your imperfections, who you are and upon what altar you stand and what principles you espouse and you are consistent and being on the right side of history then ultimately you can be assured of victory of a kind daniel did it he returned a seat that the new democratic party had lost in west kingstown and he could hardly find a more decent politician than john horn he brought it back into the NDP fold. I was able to do the same thing in Central Kingston. If you look in the case of Central Kingston about the margins of loss, Campbell lost that seat to by, by nearly over 700 votes. Today we have an encouraging margin where we are leading by over 516 votes. In the last election, we lost South Central winner by 588 votes. The ULP has a stronghold, including the manipulation of the electoral machinery, which some people prefer me to say thief or thievery. 
they control Diamonds, Mount Grennan, and all the way down, and they have a 588 foot loop. It is doable. It's not a miracle, but at the rate at which Bruce is working, and is prepared to work, and is prepared to work, let the caller hold for me. I am satisfied that he can turn the constituency around. So, the politics of the geography of the election preparation is important to me as an elder statesman in the Democratic Party. And that's the one reason why we have to hold on and hold on as long as we can to make that change. The resilience, determination, experience of Senator Baki, ba Bacchus Batiste in the southern portion of the, the countryside, if I may call it that way, with Bruce, smack dab in the center, with the interesting names that will be released in the fullness of time, and timing is important, and we're asking for your patience in East St. George, and in North Windward, and in other parts of the constituency, you have to be patient with Dr. Friday as he holds and keeps his powder dry. We can have and are having the opportunity in the New Democratic Party to renew ourselves in those areas where we will be most vulnerable and where we have to do the greatest amount of work, and which requires high levels of energy, political savvy, supported by the experience that exists in the New Democratic Party. So I welcome my friend, brother, and colleague, Senator Bruce, confident that I'm recommending to the public someone who has been doing the work, who can do the work, who can hit the ground running, and who tomorrow can function ministerially, because that's the other side of political activity to which I am uncompromising. I'm not in the business, and we who are seasoned are not in the business of exchanging one set of incompetence for the next. And that is why it is so important to us in the New Democratic Party that even as we prepare ourselves as a party and a government in waiting, we begin to function as a cabinet, understanding how to build consensus, understand how to shape public policy. And there will be no doubt in my mind that when the estimates come on the 29th and the budget on the 4th, support to Caesar, someone for whom I all have some respect, but who unfortunately has allowed himself to be misguided by the lies and unprincipled behavior on the other side. And so therefore, I have had to give him low marks for the fact that he can sit down and watch us speak of the house erode our democracy, violate our constitution, don't support principles of a constitution development fund that will help him to do more for his, his supporters, watch agriculture bending on, on, on his knees, look at a high crime rate, uh, including rape, ab ab abductions, and stay and do nothing about it, a failed foreign policy, of a Maduro government in Venezuela, where people have to be living the kind of lives that they live in and not doing much better. Not seizing the opportunity to get monies, millions of dollars from a CBI program to improve the people in its constituency. Who wants the basic thing that they're now trying to make their own? The back walls and the roads and the Gucci tracks, mm -hmm. as they used to call it. The small things that mean big things to people. If he sat and do all those things, then it takes away from what otherwise. So I have to keep him only to be potential. And I'm sure that Israel will demonstrate in uncertain terms how much you'd fast track that and will be an important pillar the real deal. of transforming South Central Windward, taking it back to realize the significant gains that have been brought to that constituency by Sir James Mitchell when he brought what is up to today St. Vincent's most successful social transformation program and economic transformation program, the land reform program Flagship. of land for the landless that created a new economic 
an educational middle class that produces the new sets of professionals, about to be one of them. Lawyers, doctors, accountants, engineers, management specialists, sociologists. That's what the land reform program did. Independent minded and thinking. That's what he's going to demonstrate, how it is to be a man. And so I know the New Democratic Party is going to be better off it. I look forward to his presence in the parliament. And I believe he will be a part of the engine that drives the New Democratic Party to electoral success. So I ask all of my people in Central Kingston to join with our executive and others to welcome him wholeheartedly. Embrace him, and guide him, and mentor him. Follow his meetings, not by radio, jump in a vehicle, numbers matters. Attend them, support him, call in any program, encourage him, uplift him and uphold him, so that collectively, we as a party are better for his central appointment. And Congratulations, us. my brother. And us. Congratulations. 100%. Thank you, thank you very much. Major, it's two minutes.